our city, our hope in a thick mist of evil. There has always been a battle between the forces of good and evil, right and wrong. We spend our lives in this battle, this war that spares no one in our generation. A few good men, a few bad men, and a whole lot of people that are indifferent bring out our weaknesses and strength. We look for followers and leaders to justify our mission on Earth. Our encounters are plagued with deepest struggles and fears from our own little rooms of solitude. It's the panic room encounters. Habiba, give me back my kingdom. Kingdom? I never took your kingdom. I only brought out the evil and the people that exist in it. And now they're subject to me. Um, well, me and of some other cutouts. As a man, I have fallen prey to your influence. I sold my soul to save the people you hold captive. <sighs> But my conscience can't take it any longer. I will no longer continue to dance to your tune, Abiba. Oh, come on, sweetie. You know that we're meant to be together. Right from our university days up until our present struggle, don't you? Yes. Struggle of righteousness and the fallibility of man. I am the chief detective of Peninsula. And I will no longer overlook your sinful control of this city. Sinful control? You seem to forget that I am subject to the control of the wiles of this people. I simply profit from the infidelity, lust, greed of these men and women of the city. I sell flesh, drugs, and power to anybody who would sell their soul and spend some cash. You encourage these vices so that yourself and your cohorts can get rich. Well, what else would you have had me do? You left me 15 years ago. You married my friend. You scorned me. And you left me helpless at the mercy of drug addiction and lost to quell my pain. But you know what? I've grown to be a very strong and powerful woman. And if you ever want to see our daughter again, you'll cover my reign for one year. The power of your seduction can't rival your wickedness. <laughs> you made me lose my soul because of our daughter. To get a chance to see our daughter. You kept me away from a part of my soul. And this is evil. Wicked! Well, Terry, I'm going to need you to turn a blind eye on the activities of Kwame and his brother Nelson. I have my plans for them. Habiba, the pressure to bring them in is mounting. And all I can say now is that if he sheds blood anymore, I 
will hunt him down myself. Your daughter's been asking to see her real father. I told her that she could see him in a year. But that's only if you promise to cover my reign for this one year. I mean, it's just one year. And I promise. I'll bring her to you. Habiba. My heart is heavy. And filled with a passion to win this game. This dirty game of love and evil. Okay guys, we all know Joanna, Interpol Officer West Africa, the lady we love from afar. Hey Joanna, we love you like he goes and Coco Yam. Joanna, Amaka, John, Dan Ray, Beatrice, and of course, Shay. Would you like to say something? Yes. Hello everyone. We are dealing with a very ruthless, very intelligent criminal. He got his first degree in the UK, studied philosophy, then moved on to the United States and studied international relations and strategic studies. He married twice, has a daughter in Nottingham, UK, claims he barely calls, has one wife in Michigan, and another wife in South Africa who's serving jail time because she refuses to rat him out on his human trafficking case. Kwame McCauley has been around the globe quite a bit. And this is his longest stay here in Nigeria. He has family in Ghana, but he hardly sees them. With over 25 cases of murder, assault, and human trafficking in three different countries, which are the UK, the United States and South Africa. He is number three on Interpol's most wanted list here in Africa. After Wahid Bashar, the terrorist, and General Ming Sobi, the ruthless militant. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen. You very well. Let's get to work. Exactly what you're doing. And you know what? I don't blame you. 
I entirely do not blame you. I blame myself for everything. I didn't listen to what everyone had to say about me. Everyone had something negative to say about me. Everyone advised me against you. But I went against everything they told me and I took you in. And look at what you're doing to me. I should have listened. What? I should have listened. What, what did you hear? Tell me what you heard about You want to know what I heard? Yes, tell me what you heard about me. Okay, fine, I'm going to tell you what I heard. You were sleeping with your boyfriend's father, weren't you? Who told you that nonsense? Or do himself. He made it all up. He made it all up. Oh, really? Yes. And did he tell you he was cheating on me? Did he? Did he tell you he was cheating on me? Besides, what was your business with him? What did you have with him? Business? Yes. My business with him? Everyone knew you had a crush on him. Crush on him? And so, you were sleeping with his father. He was so devastated. I was the only listening ear that he had. So what if I slept with his father? John wasted with men for money back in school and even now. So what's, what's new in that? I know that we sleep with men for money. Tell me about it. But not our boyfriend's father, babes. Oh, please. See who is talking. Your mother thinks you're an event planner. And you, your mom thinks you're a PR consultant. Leave my house. I've had it up to here. I have tried for you. I can't take it anymore. Give me one week. Just one week. And I'll get a bigger place and leave this your miserable small one bedroom apartment. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I will not invite you for my house. Let me pass it. I'm going to just drink. one week. Please, That's your problem. Just leave my house. That's my problem. Go. Sorry I'm late boss, got into a fight with a bus driver and a conductor. It wasn't my fault, they started it. I was on my way here and they... You haven't changed. Still stubborn, daring and suicidal. That bike cost me a fortune boss and they nearly ran over me on the highway. What got me so angry was when I removed my helmet. And they saw it was a lady. They started laughing at me and said, Oh, now woman, no. I asked what was funny. And they ignored me and sped off. I, I got so pissed that I ran after them. And when I caught up with them, I bit the crap out of the both of them. Anyway, again, sorry I'm late. I quit. You shoot too. You said you have intel for me. Kwame has taken over his late friend's club and has started gathering clients. Is that all? Everyone knows that. 
You want more? You owe me, remember? Look, I need your intel on the streets to give me a clue as to what is happening, specifically on the criminal organizations, my officers, and other institutions. And guess what? Funding for this comes from my salary. So for God's sakes, when I get paid at the end of the month, then I pay you. Okay, boss. Why don't you tell ISCU about all the good work I'm doing for you guys? Or let's say all the good work I'm doing for you. Then maybe they can allow me to join the team. I can wear the gadgets, you know. Huh? Can I carry a gun? You. Yeah. Carry a gun. You kill half the people that upset you on your way to work. I need you because I don't trust anyone in my organization anymore. I suspect them all and I need to be careful. How do I know you're not selling my intel to another organization at a higher price? Remember how I helped you out with your drug case? I could have watched you go to prison for possession of hard drugs. But I independently investigated that case and discovered you were innocent. And with my link, that case was reopened and you were freed. Now I ask you for a small favor and pay you for your services. And you're still suspecting me. Can you imagine? I've been... I've been burned several times, boss. You can't blame me. Sorry. Anyway, I think there's a war coming up soon. Okay? Kwame and his younger brother Nelson's entrance into the peninsula cities on the world is causing a bit of a fracas with the Kaysons. And the black sons? They've been quiet about him. But rumor has it that they're working on an alliance no one knows about. What are the cases? Planning? What are the cases planning? An assassination. On who? Kwame or his younger brother Nelson. That was how they killed Kwame's friend. Wow. It wasn't the cases that killed Deji. It was Kwame's brother Nelson. What? It's true boss. He's ruthless. Then you have to keep an eye on Nelson for me and keep me posted. Boss, can I get that gun now?
Hi, you need help? Oh, hi. I just can't seem to figure out the settings. Oh, hi. My name is Afam. New York, yeah? I'm Tony. Yeah, I just moved into the neighborhood. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, what settings do you want to do? I want to increase it to 50% speed. Oh, it's on preset. Uh, somebody lock the settings. Oh, hold on a minute again. Okay, it's okay now. This is the sweet, this is speed button. Uh, in case you want to reduce it or increase it, you just press this button. Okay, thanks. In case you need to just let me know. Okay, thanks again. Yeah, I'm going insane for you. It's the rainy king. Oh. Fancy on this one, baby. Huh. Okay, let's go. Now it's to me the reason I did trip for you. She not a way where you didn't make your hips swing. Girl, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Now it's to me the reason I did die for you. I don't know if I did under your spell. Girl, I don't know. I don't know. See, I don't know. See, I don't know. The way you smile at me, or the way you move, the way you wear your makeup, that makes me want to hook up. Yeah, we like you, this good love and security, that's why I'm gonna tell you how it feels. Hi, are you true? Yeah. I have a great workout plan for you if you're interested. Oh, are you an instructor? I'm um, a fitness certified instructor. Just go back looking for what you said on my workout. Okay. Yeah, so what do you do? I just finished my youth service. I, I'm still searching for a job. Oh, Anna. Anna, yeah. meet Afam. Afam, this is Anna, my friend. Hi, nice meeting you. Hi, uh, pleased to meet you, but so what did you study? Chemistry. Okay, uh, let me have your number so I can help you out with your workout plan, then uh, probably have drinks later. Mm, sorry, can I have yours? Let's see how it goes. Right. Here you go. Cute guy. But you know, right now in my life, I need more than cute. Mom is retired, dad is out, and I don't have a job. Hey, trust me. You can always count on friends like me. But his body is cute, though. But... Please don't go back to the life we lived back then in university. Let's try and flow with our age grade, you know, fall in love and try and build a life for ourselves. Yeah, my mom did that. And guess what my dad did? My dad left her five years after marriage and she had to also to raise two kids, you know. Tony, trust me. If you do the right thing, it's going to pay off in the very end. Yes, you did. Sorry about that. Uh, you know, I couldn't help but notice that you were having some issues here, so do you need some help? Yes, I have troubles adjusting the machine. Some guy helped me some time back. Okay, really, I could help if you don't mind that. Is. Okay. Here we go. I think, it, I think it's okay now. Alright, 
Thanks. Hey, Dr. Linda mentioned you're a beautiful woman. <laughs> Where's my manners? My name is Nelson. Penny. Really? Beautiful name for a beautiful woman. Now, can I have your number? It's not time. Thank you. Here. Trying your number out, out, and this guy helped me here. Oh, I see. Okay. Trying your number. Okay, so I'll give it for you. Okay. Yeah. Tell me, can I see you for a minute? Don't go close to that guy, he's very dangerous. Dangerous? What do you mean? He and his brother, Kwame Macaulay, they're into prostitution, drugs, and all sorts of nefarious activities. Don't say what you don't know. I know people that know him very well. So now you're trying to act like my dad or something. I hang out with whoever I want to hang out with, and anytime I want to hang out with them. But if I'm done with this, I don't know you. Tell Anna when she comes that I've left this place. Hey. I don't know what you told that girl that made her leave, but I don't trust you one bit. I just want to ask you a question. Is she your girlfriend? Stay away from that girl. Or else. Hello. She's still at the gym. Sure. I've got my eyes on him. My friend Tenny. Yeah, she left a while ago. Really? And I've been showing her number. Yeah, she's I'm sure she's fine. Do you want to walk out? Sure. Okay. Can you help out? Yeah, sure. Okay, so uh, so how do I do this? Just tea on a mix. Where are you coming from? 
didn't see you at the gym. I went to the gym and I was told you were not there. Nice hair. Oh. I went to the salon to make my hair. So, where did you go? Well, I went jogging and from jogging I went to the gym and I was told you already left. Why? What happened? Can you imagine that guy Alpha? Like, I, he's my father or something. I was talking to Nelson. Wait, wait. Nelson. You mean Nelson Macaulay? Yeah, what's all this news about him? Tell me, I heard he's a bad guy. You better keep away from him. Look, I'm sick and tired of all these rumors. Let me decide, let me be. Say I'm not worth it, I think that's hardly true. What's your opinion? Think for yourself. I'm not trying to push. I just wanna help the way I am. The feeling that I'm feeling here is making me to feel alright. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The feeling that I'm feeling here is making me to feel alright. I love you in the morning, I love you in the night I'm staring at my window, gazing at the stars Thinking of the moments, everything we had Now you're gone Be my me, oh You're the one I love, yeah Now you, I could spend my money for Hey, how are you baby? Okay, how are you doing? Uh, well, let's just say lonely. <laughs> Very friendly. Like, we met not quite longer. You're feeling, <laughs> you're feeling all mushy already. <laughs> you know, this things happen sometimes. You, you know, just get to meet somebody for the first time and the person drives you gaga. <laughs> no, but it's true. Hey, this is a bit of a rush for me, you know. Like, I need time to know you and... Uh, you see, okay, fine. I'll tell you, okay? The thing is, I just came out from a very, very, very bad relationship. And you know, meeting you has kind of, you know, given me hope that I could actually love again. What happened? It's a very long story. Why don't we just, you know, have a drink and talk about it? Uh, okay. Mm, so that's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so get your belt, please. Alright. Uh... Uh, oh, yeah, I'm designed. 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 I'm they want to bring me down. They want to stop my shine. I live my life just like a hunter. Did they push me down? They know the water. I live my life, I know the sand. I got the blessing, so I the way to. I'm not crazy, man. Testimony, I can't testify. Oxygen, I'm a sephiro. Everybody shout to this, I need a rainbow. Everybody. Time, time, me, Johnny, beat me, you see Dance all around, we hear this song Everybody, everybody want to dance, dance on the rock now Singing my song in a brown now You see my life, my life so sweet like honey Them want to dance, no, yes, no Oh, yeah, do I'm for God Hey, what do you want to carry me? Carry me, carry me, carry me Them want to bring me down Them want to stop my shine Oh, no, I'm for God Carry me, carry me, carry me, carry me. They want to bring me down. Trust me, the rest of the people pay. 
I remember when I chop bread with that no butter. No get to stay home or no shelter. Mom picking just a run and just get tired. And tell us giddy cause I hope for the better. Now I'm killing every show that I go. Even though I'm pitching your money for the flow. Thanks a lot. I really had a great time today. Yeah? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I should be thanking you. Come on, you made me happy. I just wish we could do this more often, you know. When am I going to see you again? You know, I still have my friend and her auntie, and I would have to get a suitable time for us to meet again. So, I'll get back to you. Okay. In the meantime, uh, why don't we... What are you doing? Come here, man. You know what? Just, just get out. Get out! Get out from my car! Listen, you don't know who you're messing with. No. Hey, listen, go ask him Nelson, okay? Go ask him Nelson! Listen! Listen! Nobody mess with me, okay? Good! Listen! Listen! You understand? I'm the last person you want to mess around with. Do you understand that? Nobody mess with me, bitch! Hey, 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 hey! Boss! How are you doing? I'm good. Where are you coming from? Ah, I went to the gym. You, you, you know I met some crazy guy at the gym, or some crazy instructor. He was talking about how we ruin girls and their career and all that, you know. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? But well, that's by the way. So what were you trying to tell me? Uh, boss, you know, it's about what I told you the last time. Emilia's house. Oh, Emilia. Okay. So, you know, it's about, I, I feel the need for us to get her a house. I want you know, if we get her a place, our top client will come to her house and she, and she services them there, then we charge them heavily for our services. Listen, you know how Kwame is about spending. I mean, anything that has to do with him passing with money, he, he, he doesn't buy it at all. So, I don't know, I don't know where the, how, how we're going to do this. If you ask me. I believe we will make this money back four times. All our investments will have four times return on it. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll give it a shot. I'll, I'll talk to Parma about it, okay? You will? 
Yo, talk to Kwame. But you better be sure. You better be sure about this. You, you really have to be sure about this because I'm sure you can, you can trust me anytime, boss. Anytime, trust me. Fine, no problem. So I'll, I'll talk to Kwame like I said. Okay, please. Yeah. Uh, um. I hope you were not romantically involved with this Amelia girl. Boss. <laughs> boss, you should know by now. Now we are all in for the money. Yeah. It's yeah. about the money, boss. It's about the money? Yes, boss. Okay, so if it's about the money, you don't get involved romantically, huh? <laughs> Just kidding. I'll talk to Kwame, okay? Okay, now. Yeah, take care. Stay up the ladies, huh? I know, yeah. I'm right with you. I think the deal is almost done. Okay, see you later now. I love you, babe. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for being here for me today. I know you have one or two things to do tonight, so that's why I called for this this afternoon. So let's enjoy ourselves, please, right? Cheers. I don't know how to put all of us here. Why may choose to rent this expensive house just now? Uh, isn't it obvious she's probably going mm -hmm. I can spend my with this well, and she has not gotten half of what Emilia has got. I don't trust him anymore. Mm -hmm. She will be using the mm -hmm. black magic. Uh, that reminds me, I heard you you got engaged. Yes, uh, I will Does, be seeing him soon. Does he know what you do? Don't you think you need to tell him? I know. You should, my dear. Anyways, I, I, I'll tell you later. I need to go see my friends, right? Okay.
hell are you doing? No, 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 not again. I thought you stopped this habit already. Just leave me alone. You don't know what I've been through. You shouldn't kill yourself, babe. This is not the way to go. You see this? It will slowly destroy you. You will end up spending everything you have to feed it until your last but now tell me, is that what you want? Get out of my sight. Remember? I've been there for you since we were in primary school for crying out loud. Yeah, for me? I have lost out on three relationships that almost led to marriage. I have even lost two pregnancies. What sort of life am I living? Am I really living? Oh, hello. Are we leaving? Tina, <laughs> calm down, okay? Don't worry. Let's <laughs> let's pull through this together. Okay? Now, tell me, what do you want me to tell you about? Huh? She will just die at the news of you being into wrongs. Not to talk of you taking hard drugs. Tina hard drugs, so I suspect she knows I'm doing wrongs. But not drugs. She can't bear to find out my answer if she asks me. But then they won't pay for my family. <laughs> Isn't my company job of one eighty k that is gonna foot the bills, huh? Tina, all I need you to do for me right now is promise me you will stop. I beg you, just promise me you will stop this. Yeah. Really, really. You know what? I think you need professional help. Oh. Yes, like. See a psychologist or something. Yes, who is that? Come. Oh, are you okay? God will see us through. I know it's a difficult time and shit, but God will see us through. Okay? Come on. Come on. Give me that smile. Look at you. Look at you. You want to smile, right? <laughs> Come on. Now I don't want us to miss any bit of the party. So let's go show those girls the stuff we made up, right? Yeah. Now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's no. Just go. <laughs> Hey, girls, girls, I wonder what they've been gossiping about today. <laughs> There's something better left unnoticed or unsaid. My dear, I know my bestie very well. She's a gossip. Gossip. <laughs> Please, that aside, I beg. Play the booze now. My dear. There's no booze, but first of all, you don't want to take a tour around my house. Sweetie, after I take the booze, and I take your tour. See me looking all stressed and everything. Please, and please, that's not why I am here. Food did not give me. Food, you don't want to yeah. give me. Yeah. Yeah.
Thanks so much for the tea. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. So, when are you leaving for the office? Um, I have an 11 o'clock appointment. Um, with some rich free guys, so okay. I'm supposed to help them organize some events. Good, good. You go tell all those flight attendants. I don't want to see their hands anywhere near you. Else. Baby. I'm just you. They all know who my number one girl oh, is. And besides, do. I have your picture on my handset. Oh, oh you do? Yes. So you have nothing to worry about, okay? Alright. So do you have everything? Your clothes, your gadgets, everything. Wait a minute. Are you trying to sweep away any evidence that I was ever here? No, come on. Stop feeling so insecure. I'm just saying. So you have your passport? Yes, I have my passport. I'm ready to go. Cool, then. Yeah, we're good to go. Okay. Uh -huh. Can I get a... Uh, oh, sorry, baby. You have a bus, Oh, come on. Oh, come <laughs> All right. On. Just give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Oh, uh, I'll see you later. All right. All right. I'll call you when I get there. Okay. All right. Bye. Who are you? Who are you? How did you get in here and where did you get those keys from? What kind of question is that? You're sitting in my living room and you're asking me who gave me what? Your living room? Yes, my living room. I'm sure you have the wrong house. You must be crazy. Huh? I paid for this house. Amelia is my girlfriend. Huh? So I'm going to ask you one more time. Who are you? What are you doing here? And what is Amelia to you? You paid for a house I personally paid for? Yes, I personally paid for this house. My friend, I don't know if you're smoking something or you're high, huh? I don't know what you kids are into nowadays, but I'm going to ask you one more time. Who are you? What are you doing here? Okay? First of all, I am not your friend. Secondly, this house, I personally paid for it. It is my house. How do I have the key to the house? I should be asking you that question. My friend, this is not your house. I know what you are. You're a gigolo. That's what you are, huh? You just go around to, to lonely women, married women, and you mess around, right? That's what you do, huh? I understand that. I respect that. But what I want to tell you right now is you need to get out of my house. You dare call me a gigolo? You old man. You shameless fool. You're someone's husband having an affair. That's what you are. An affair? Yes. That's what you think this is, huh? Yes. Huh? Well, I tell you what, Mr. Gigolo. You need to pack your bags and get the hell out of my house. I'm going nowhere. You will go somewhere right now. You know what? I will not exchange words with you anymore. Emilia! You don't be raising your voice in my house! Emilia! 
Amelia! Why are you here? Why is this man in my house? Can you stop shouting? Who is this man? Stop shouting, Mr. Please. Amelia, who is this man? For this house. Okay, Amelia, calm? look at me. Who is this man? Isan, please calm Are down. You on me? How? Are you cheating on me, Amelia? Isan, can you just, just turn down, please? Let me answer my question this minute. Who is this old man? Okay, he's just my friend. Can you just He's just, him just your friend. You're shouting. Oh, oh you do it all now, right? Amelia, just answer my question right now. Who is this old man? He's just a friend. Can you just calm down, please? Just you go with that lame line. He's just a friend. He's just a friend. And he's here yelling, shouting, and, and telling me how he owns the house. Owns the house? Please, I'm sorry. Please, just can you just calm down? Amelia, look, I love you. There's only one way to solve this. One of us has to leave, and it has to be him. What do you mean? Get him out. One person needs to leave this. Week. I'm too big for this nonsense. Yeah, too big. Make a decision. Can you just stop right? shouting, please? Stop it! Ah, ah, for crying out loud! Okay, fine. So what if I use both your money to rent this apartment? Why? So what? I love both of you equally. What are you talking about? Please, Issa, can you just calm down and let me explain to you? Just oh, shut, shut, shut the hell up, Emilia. Shut up. Explain what? You're just a slut who's been caught in the act, and now you're putting up all this drama. Seriously? Oh. Hey, hey, hey! You better watch your mouth. Who do you think you're talking to? You can't be talking to her like that! Huh? What will you do? Hey, you better get out of here! Can you huh? find something? What you gonna do? Please. Oh my god! What you gonna do? Please huh? calm down! What you gonna do? Just push you! Enough of this nonsense! What you gonna do? Enough of this nonsense! Calm down! Calm down! Calm down! Calm down! What the heck you gonna do? Enough of this nonsense! What are you gonna do? Huh? Come on with it! What you gonna do? Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Why are you talking that man? Oh my no. God! Okay, stop it! Yeah, okay, stop that guy! Okay, please! Stop! 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 Oh, leave me alone! Look at what you've done! See, I'm bleeding! So what? Okay, I want you to calm down, calm down! Now, look at what you've done to me! I cut myself, really! You cut me, you're saying you brought a knife to my house! I couldn't find some band but I found some tissue. Ah, my heart! It's okay, go ahead, go ahead. It's alright, it's both of you should just leave me alone. I'm fine, don't worry. I'm fine. Both of you should leave me alone. And why are you staring at me like that? You look like my friend, Henry. He used to be my neighbor back in the day. Henry? Yeah, Henry Adaba. Henry Adaba? Mm -hmm. You knew Henry Adaba? Yeah, what, what do you mean knew him? Henry Adaba was my cousin. I used to come over during the holidays to stay. He died some years ago. Henry's dead? Yeah. Wow. Why did you just start driving around the city of Lagos? <laughs> Come on. I'm a French man. I can drive anywhere. Why did you call the meeting? I'm tired. I've been walking all night. I can't wait to get home. Well, I suspect a mole in your organization on this Kwame issue. And I hope it's not you. Me? How can I walk against myself? Well, you tell me. 
how many years before retirement and the whole in internal affairs and Etopol are suspecting you? Why? Why are they suspecting you? Tell me the truth, Tari. Hmm? You've been my friend for almost a decade since training. Are you the mole? I am not a mole. And I am angry that you of all people will even suspect me of being one in my own organization. Can you explain this? What are these? You have someone full of me. Why? As a good friend, Tari. Huh? I was trying to absolve you of all suspicions around you. Huh? I guess who showed up during our investigation? Hmm? Madam J herself. Every time I sent a message, I wasn't getting any response. So what happened? He was caught up in a drug ring and he was strangled to death in his apartment. That's terrible. I know you. You are Key Lamani. Everybody was talking about you back in the day. Talking about what? Yeah. About... You raped that girl. Rape? I remember now. Rape. Henry had what a sister. Girl? And we had a sister. Her name was Rita. You remember Rita? You know Rita, right? Yes. I yeah. Know. Rita had a friend. They used to come over during the holidays. She was raped by their cousin, Henry's cousin. He just said, "You were the cousin, right?" I'm, I'm the cousin. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I am. The girl's name was Justina. You remember Justina? I am. Right? And the girl, her name was Justina. Justina. Remember that name? Justina, raped by the cousin. That cousin. See, baby? Down. He's a rapist. Just calm down. Justina was the girl's name. Okay. You went over to that place and you raped that girl. Justina? You raped that girl. Who is, who is Justina? Explain. I can explain now. Well, explain to me who is Justina. Where did you meet her? Did you? See, see who you, you, who you, who you, who 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 you hanging out with? Oh, okay. I, I can, who I can explain. Justina? You sitting right next to a rapist! You know, he's, he's just trying to put up all these things so that you could leave me and Can you just me. tell me who Justina is, please? That's all I need to know, who Justina is. Because I have a cousin called Justina too. So who is Justina? He's putting up all this so that you can believe him and, and go with him. All these are nonsense. They're, they're stop trash. it, just stop it and tell me who Justina is. Somebody tell me who Justina is. I'll tell you who Justina is. Henry, your cousin, had a sister named Rita. Rita was the only girl in the house and she needed a close friend. She found a girl in secondary school. Her name was Justina. I don't know. That name sounds familiar. Since the same description of my cousin, Justina. Did she go to Ashton Secondary School? So you know her? Did she attend Royal University two years after she was rusticated due to fake papers? That's the one. Okay. Did you rape Justina? Look at his face. Tell me the truth. Did you rape her? Huh?